born and raised on the bayou. I was uh, I was born in a houseboat. My brother was born in a houseboat. My sister, my older sister, was born in a houseboat, and we uh, we lived on the water all our lives. My uh, grandfather and 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 my dad, they was all uh, commercial fishermen and trappers, and uh, I guess you could call me semi semi retired. But I'll never quit fishing. I'll fish until the day I die, probably. You know, uh, I just love it and. I've seen so many uh, beautiful sunsets and so many beautiful sunrises. And South Louisiana is just beautiful, you know. It's, it's hard to describe the, the feeling you get by being out there and, and then being able to, uh, to scratch your little living out of it, it even makes it that more uh, rewarding, you know. Coastal Louisiana were built by the sediments from the Mississippi River. The river has this natural ability to build land. Like a, a hose uh, that has uh, water under pressure kind of moving from side to side, left to right. It spewed all the way from uh, the New Orleans area on the east all the way to Lafayette. When the river overflows its banks uh, during the spring, as it used to on a regular basis, then that sediment is deposited. And especially in high river years when the river is chocolate, it's carrying tons and tons of sediment. And over the past 5,000 years actually built South Louisiana into the Gulf. It builds a delta, uh, it then finds a shorter course to the sea, it switches to that one, it builds a new delta. And that sediment gradually piled up until it got to the surface of the water and vegetation started to grow grasses and trees and things start to grow in it and before too long you've got a marsh. We in South Louisiana live in the United States but we live on the reunited states because every bit of soil comes from Indiana, Illinois, anywhere from western New York to Montana. We were actually built by flooding. Well, after 1927, when we had the great flood on the Mississippi River, uh, in, in our wisdom at the moment, in responding to the crisis of the moment, we decided that we couldn't be flooded like that anymore. 
So we chose to build a levee system that contained the river, that kept it within its, its uh, uh, channel. Now what happens is the Mississippi River in Louisiana is a canal. It's completely confined all the way through our state to the Gulf of Mexico. So instead of spreading that goodness over the whole wetland area, it's all going out into 400 feet of water in, in the Gulf of Mexico. Levying the Mississippi River did provide some great uh, economic opportunities for this great state. Uh, but it has, it has also caused, uh, uh, without question, one of the biggest environmental disasters in the history of the world. What we're looking at is the battle between the Mississippi River building land and the Gulf of Mexico trying to eat it back. Uh, since the, especially since the 27 flood, we basically handcuffed the Mississippi River and we're not using any of the sediments and that sediment now is going into deep ocean water.